Jesus is the same yesterday. Jesus is the same today. Jesus is the same forever. I want to welcome you to today's broadcast and I want to trust God. I want to trust God that your life will never remain the same after this broadcast. I pray for you. As every one of you that connect to this broadcast, the spirit of fear is terminated out of your life. I kill the root of poverty, the root of fear, fear of the unknown. I kill it out of your destiny. I speak a release of miracle. I speak a release of turnaround. I speak a release of grace upon your life. The Bible says he has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and of joy and of a sound mind. Your mind is sound in Jesus' name. God bless you. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okosa, and um, I just want to bring briefly, I want to share something with you briefly. In my work with God over the years, I found out that a lot of Christians don't know they are right in God. A lot of Christians don't even know who they are. A lot of Christians don't even know the authority that they have in God. A lot of Christians are so lost in wrong teachings that they have lost their authority in God. In the book of Genesis, the Bible says, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish, have authority. So many teachings today around the world about foundation, about witchcraft, about family altars and all that. But there's something the church is doing wrong today. We preachers, we Christians, we are too conscious of the devil. We are too conscious of witchcraft, conscious of family altars, conscious of someone is doing means someone is taking... Is, is, is fighting against my progress. We have this consciousness of diabolic and satanic consciousness. And this has brought the devil into the church. This has made the devil popular and relevant in the church, even than Jesus himself. So many teachings today, people believe in prophecy. People believe in prophets. People believe in prophesy, papa, go deeper. But hear me and hear me well. There is a consciousness you have of God that places you above others. There's a consciousness you have about God that puts your world in your hands. There's a consciousness you have about God that places you above everyone. There's a consciousness you have about God and you just know that you are a success. You, 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 you see, I tell people, I can't speak negative. I don't speak negative. It doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter the circumstance. I'm not built that way. I don't function that way. I think like God. I reason like God. I act like God. When a situation is around my life, the first thing I think is, how does God think? How does God look at that situation? And that helps me and mold me to say the things I say. The problem with a lot of believers is statement problem. The, 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 the things that comes out of their mouth during the time of situation is what makes me know your level with Jesus, your level in Christ. Many Christians are babies because the way they talk, you just know that they are babies. From the way they speak, from the way they react to problems, the way they react to circumstances. Jesus said in his word, he said, cheer up, you have overcome the world. Cheer up, you have overcome. So it doesn't matter the circumstances you are going through, you have overcome. It doesn't matter the report of the doctor, you have overcome. It doesn't matter the, 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 the circumstances around your life, you have overcome. The Bible says in his word, the Bible says, great is he greater is he greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you have overcome the world you have overcome it, it, it's it's a definite article so it doesn't matter the situation it doesn't matter the circumstances have this mentality in your head i have overcome 
I have overcome. Let it sink into your system. Let it sink into your mentality. Let it let it eat you up. I have overcome. Maku Silabraha. It doesn't matter the report of the doctor. I have overcome. It doesn't matter if there's no money in my bank account. I have overcome. It doesn't matter if they gave me a sack letter. The Bible says, count it all joy. He said, he said, all things work together for good for them that are called according to his purpose. All things, all things, not some things, not few things the bible say all things work it together for good all things work it together all things it doesn't matter the situation all things get this mentality in your head fill your spirit man with this mentality all things work it together someone walked out of your life all things work it together for good they gave you sack letter at your place of work all things work it together for good you lost a job all things work it together for good all things work together for good to them that are called according to his purpose have this mentality i refuse to be poor i refuse to go down i refuse to be rejected i refuse to fear the biggest problem with a lot of christians is the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future let me read something to you let me read something to you. In the book of Revelation chapter 1 from verse 17, let me read something quickly to you. Oh, bless you, Zikra Hadabandish, Karabo Zebrahita. Thank you, Father. And he said, when, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last i am the first and the last Kaba Sahada. Woo, what a god we serve god is telling you he is already in your situation he is the first he has seen the end of the situation he has seen the end he, and you are in the middle so fear not i am the first and the last what does that mean is with you in that situation he knows the outcome of that situation. He knows that you are going to be victorious at the end of the day. He knows that you are going to be a success at the end of the day. He knows that you can't be poor at the end of the day. You have to have this consciousness. Fear. You have to kill the spirit of fear in your life. So many people are, are afraid of, 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 of the future. They don't know how what the future holds. That is not your business. Jesus is saying, he is the first and the last. Believe his word. Let this consciousness be in you. Let this consciousness be you. You cannot fail. You are a success. You are wired to be a success. You are wired to be a success. Jesus said in his word, you are the light of the world. How many times do you confess that? I am the light of the world. I am the light in this office. I am the light. I am the light in my family. I'm the light of the world. I'm the light in my neighborhood. I'm the light. You need to have this. Oh, Makataya. I pray God open your eyes to see, to, to, to get this word. This is not about motivational speaking. This is about a lifestyle. This is not about cheering you up. It's a life. I am the light of the world. Our sickness can't be in my body. I am the light of the world. Cancer can't kill me. I am the light of the world. HIV can't kill me. I am the light of the world. I refuse to be poor. I am the light of the world. I refuse to be rejected. I am the light of the world. I refuse to be stagnated. You begin to confess it. The Bible says, saying those things that were not as if they were. Saying those things that were not as if they were. You have to start speaking it into the atmosphere. The Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. You have to open your mouth and begin to decree. You have to begin to speak to that situation. Speak to that circumstances. Speak life. Speak life to that dead bone. Ezekiel 37, God said to Ezekiel, he said, he said, can these bones live again? God is asking someone watching me right now, can you be healed? Can you be prosperous? Can the dryness in your life turn to greatness? Can, can the dryness in your life receive life? God is asking you, your mouth is 
given to you to recreate your destiny. Have this consciousness. You cannot go down. Kill fear from your spirit. Kill fear. I told somebody HIV does not kill. It is the fear that comes with HIV that paralyzes your body. HIV does not don't kill fear. Some people are afraid of death. Jesus took the power of life and death. Jesus overcame death. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door. Jesus won against principalities and power. He said, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. You are above death. You are above sin. You are above lack. You are above sickness. You can't be sick. Have this consciousness. I want to pray for you now. In the name that is above every name. I speak to your mind. I speak to your head. I speak to your mind. Be recreated by the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I kill fear from your life. I terminate fear from your life. In the name of Jesus, I destroy fear from your life. I see a woman, you are so downcasted. You have even tried to commit suicide several times. Because people walked out of your life. The Spirit of God says, I should tell you. All things work together for good. I see God healing people right now. In the name of Jesus, if you are sick in your body, I speak healing. Two more disappear. I command fibro to melt out of your system. I speak a release of fruitfulness. I terminate the agenda of hell. I speak a release of miracles upon your business, your destiny, everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, your life will move forward. You are a testimony. You are the light of the world. Grace is working on your behalf. The power of God speak on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, you will not go down. You are a success. You are a success. I want you to type if you're connected. Say, my father, my father, I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be rejected. I refuse to be stagnated. I claim back what God has in store for me. I know who I am. Success is mine. Greatness is mine. Upliftment is mine. Prosperity is mine. Breakthrough is mine. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. I hope this word touched you. And I hope this word transformed your life. Have a consciousness. You are the light of the world. Have that consciousness. Let it sink in your spirit. I am the light of the world. The Bible says ye are the salt of the world. That means you add taste to everywhere you go. You, have, you add taste to your family. You add taste to your nation. You add taste to your world. You add taste to your career. You add taste to your ministry. You add taste to your life. And everyone connected around you. You are going somewhere. Your life is beautiful. In Jesus' name. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okosa. Thank you for being a part of this broadcast. And I hope to see you again. Make sure you like our Facebook page, uh, So E Ministries. We are in all social media, uh, 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 Instagram, Facebook, um, WeChat, you know, name it. We are there. Just type So E Ministries and uh, you will get a hold of us. God bless you. My email is soeministries one at gmail.com. Your life will never remain the same. Sending your testimony, sending your prayer request, my God will meet you at the point of your need. I feel a miracle. God has answered you. That wheelchair, you are coming out of it. I speak of release. I see a man. God is about to make you so wealthy. Within three months from now, the God I serve change your story. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. My name is Apostle Malolo Kose. See you again in Jesus' name. Make sure you share this video. Share it everywhere. Someone needs to hear this word. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.